The countdown. All right. Three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. All right, 18 start. All right, we got the scores and the pieces are the same. And already we have different, slightly different stacking. Dan Sushi favoring the left side a little bit, calculating yeah. Poet building out the right a little more. I mean, the he heavy favoring on the left, like getting the sloping left in place early, that was a hallmark of the Jonas style. Yeah. Uh, oh, Simul Tetris going in. First I was the match. Yeah, I was talking about this with uh, Salted Bread and RJ on the way there, how a lot of the things that we take for granted as classic Tetris players nowadays were all innovations by Jonas. Like, for example, the double well on the right side, like, mm -hmm. where you create the two wide gap, was something that Jonas, like, figured out and made the meta. And so now all of us, like, stack just like Jonas, which is just so amazing. Uh, I mean, you know, there's... The, the fact that uh, Alex named uh, the, the new 16 million record, which was something completely unheard of when Jonas was an active player. Yeah. Uh, wow, great, great survival for Dan, Vink, Dan Sushi there. He was in quite a uh, dicey situation. Yep. So, uh, continuing to uh, widen the lead. Poet is coming back strong though yeah but what were you saying about alex t's world record well the, so he, he he named it after jonas and the the high score and the thumbnail yeah. and i mean that just speaks to the incredible breadth of influence that he had continues to have 100 percent agree M match in front of us uh very very much trading leads yeah good stacking for both players here nice skim with the uh, j for uh Dan Sushi, nice split double. A little bit of a slowdown, but he's handling the situation very well. Yeah, I mean, as soon as as soon as the drought starts cooperating, this will go back to trading leads. Boom Tetris for Dan. Yeah, boom Tetris for Dan. So um, in terms of the scoring efficiency, um, a lot of times you'll th uh, consider the statistics of Tetris rate. And... Uh, right now, their Tetris rates are close to 60%, maybe slightly less. 60% is the Tetris rate you are looking for to get a max out into level 29, max out being a million points into 29, one of the most major milestones for NES Tetris. Yeah, for, for a long time, that was the achievement uh, to, to be shooting for, and there were, when I was starting to follow the scene more aggressively in the later part of the Jonas reign, it was still a... Uh, a double digit number of people that were accomplishing that. Yeah. It's really just speaks to the, the progress of the scene has been absolutely astronomical in just the last five years. Mm -hmm. But even so, like nowadays, like still getting a max out using the DAS playstyle is still not an easy uh, task. Uh, DAS is way more difficult to master than hyper tapping. Rolling, maybe a little also pretty difficult to master, but in a different way. But mm -hmm. in terms of DAS, you just need, especially Ooh. once at 19. Ooh, uh, there you go. Po 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 poet has a dig right now. Looks like Toa has a double vit set up. Oh, no. Oh, no. And unfortunately, Poet's going to top out there. Dan Sushi takes game number one. Dan has the lead. Dan, you are good. Neck, ne ne neck and neck right until the end. Yeah. Fortunes changed so quickly. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like the thing about the DAS play style is you have to um, maintain DAS, which means if you're not... Um, Const if you're not um, constantly um, timing your inputs, you lose the ability to move the pieces left and right, which can suddenly prevent you from downstacking at a critical time, causing mm -hmm. a swift top out. And that's sort of maybe what happened there. Uh, it, it may be the case that there are fewer inputs needed to play DAS, but they are, in, in many cases, no less precise yeah. than the inputs needed for hyper tapping 100%. or rolling at a high level. Like just the, the the maintenance of DAS, uh, and there's so many factors with that, and like that's why having the CRT is just so important. Yeah, so important, yeah. All right, we're ready for the second round. Ready for the next game, yeah. Okay, seeds have been incremented. One Tetris. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again.
Three, two, two one, one, Tetris. All right, game number two. Game, Dan Sushi up one zero. Mm hmm. Uh, taking a, a slightly more aggressive start to the right than Poet did. Uh, but we can see that sort of paying off just in terms of like the overall level. Yeah, Dan Sushi. Uh, Tetris ready early, but it's not gonna matter. There's a drought. Oh my goodness. And oh. Dan Sushi gets bailed. That's what it's called when when he gets the eyepiece, uh, when that's the only uh, means of survival. Oof, uh, but th th this board is, this board is a little bit far from clean. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of work to do. Dan, Dan Sushi's got his work cut out. Calculating Poet's gonna be able to take advantage and increase his lead quite a lot. Uh, this is this is st we're, we're we're still in the realm of manageable on 18, but look at him go. He's digging it down. Almost open for business again. Poet's just you know running away. Poet's pushing down at this point. <laughs> yeah. And clean, not quite open for business yet. Tetris for poet, increasing his lead. Dan Sushi finally is clean gets a tetris 86,000 and 97,000 bringing it to within one tetris yeah however because dan sushi was in a dig there there he is ahead by four lines which means in reality poet has m more like a two tetris lead it's true i mean it's interesting there, there was a very brief period of time uh before rolling came into the scene where uh pace stats became tremendously important yeah uh, when 29 was still effectively the kill screen rather than... Ha has the community sort of come around second transition at this point? Or wh what's the terminology? Yeah, um, so they call it... The, well, I mean, they call it tr second transition. They still call it the kill screen because 29, even for rollers, is very difficult mm -hmm. still. I mean, you have to be really focused and really good to play 29. The, I mean, I would say it, if you go back about five to eight years the having a max out was as rare and difficult as you know like significant post 29 rolling play is now i think back in the day getting a max out was even more rare than like a, a rollover which is sort of the new yeah. benchmark in the modern day meta with the um double kill screen rule set which we will be playing um we do have two rollers playing today in eric icx and opox so stay tuned for the later rounds they will most likely meet each other po sometime Post got in the back some traffic end. coming up here yeah. dan, dan, dan has successfully retaking control of this game. Ooh. Poet unable to get the oh, JP still left. That's going to do it. That's going to take him out. Yeah. And, and Dan Sushi. Dan puts it away in straight games. Good games. Excellent. Well done, Dan Sushi. Advancing. Dan Sushi advancing to round number two, playing, I believe, the winner of Eric ICX and um, Lizard.